Hey everyone, Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. So, with the recent Power BI challenges, I've become you know, and I've become a huge fan of tooltips. Uh, I've just seen them being used in so many different ways and so many different reports, and just think that they add so much value to your um, reporting and your in the insights that you can show in a really compact way. Okay, so you can use two tooltips in a number of ways. I've I've demoed those a, a few on this channel, uh, and you know you can get them to hover. Um, you know, just just like when you hover over visualization, you can actually get a tooltip to show an entire page if you like. And so what I've done, but and what I'm going to show you in this particular case is how you can actually show tooltips um, in any sort of way that you like anywhere on your page. It doesn't have to be just on a visual. Um, there's te a technique that you can use to really just show these on anything. Um, so, you know, and, and a really, um, even like an image, right? So you might want to overlay some sort of pop-up uh, on like any any sort of element within your report, okay? So let's just go through how that works. So this is a really comprehensive report that um, I developed for one of the challenges myself, and I really spent a lot of time on the UI of it and try to make it look really compelling. You can actually have a play around with this particular report if you want at the Enterprise DNA Showcase page. So definitely check out ins the insurance complaints ones. It's one of the most recently, um, um, one the most recent ones that we've made go live uh, on this particular page amongst many others. So definitely come here for inspiration. Well worth it. Um, but what I'm going to show you is um, I'm just going to navigate to the actions area here. So what I've got, this is sort of a bit more detail around. This was um, a really comprehensive uh, model on insurance applications or insurance complaints. Sorry. And what I've done is I've overlaid a tooltip onto an image or what looks like an image. OK, and I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. So I can basically call now using this technique a tooltip on absolutely anything okay and i've done it in two places i've done it here because i wanted to you know because because i didn't i didn't have the room to show this particular insight within the page itself right so what i did was like i said okay well why don't i just put it on an image and then it can pop up for the user for the consumer when they actually hover over the image and then all i've done is i've said product breakdown of open complaints by status overlaid onto that is this chart here so think about that. So you don't even need to embed a chart into your page now. You can actually embed it into a tooltip, into a hidden page that just appears when you hover over something. Okay. So what I did was I first of all found some icons. So I have a whole lot of icons. I usually get them from a subscription I have with Flaticons. It's a website online that has a lot of icons. And so what I did was I first um, input the icon so all I did was uh, what I do I insert image so I just insert the image I got the icon to sort of a similar color to my palette you can do that within within the Flaticon website and then what I did is I, I put it into the page I did that for both then what I did is you'll see that I've actually overlaid an element on top of this image because you can't actually put a tooltip into an image like if I select on this image um, let's have a look Can you, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if you can actually. No, I'm not, I'm not sure if you can, no, not, you can't, you can't do sort of like the pop-up tooltip, I don't think. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Anyway, so then what I did was I overlaid a, um, what, a card. So I took, I took a random measure, I put, placed it over the image, I turned it into a card, then what I did was I made the background 100% transparent so that you couldn't see the background. Or the, or the or the background was sort of see-through that doesn't though solve the issue of the um, particular uh, number though okay so what I had to do after that though because the the, the actual um, what you'll see is that this particular measure is exactly the same as this measure but then what I did was inside of the paint roller area I went to the data label and then I created a conditional format for that particular measure so if I click on this what you can do is you can go field value and then you can make a field value or the actual um, color change based on some uh, measure. And so, but within this measure, what's interesting is it's in this transparent measure I've selected based on transparent is not some sort of calculation. It's actually a color. So, so a hex code for um, clear, 
for 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 like transparent right and so that is the exact um, sort of code that you should use as well and then because I aligned that particular code to that particular number you'll see that I cannot see anything now within that particular card it's totally 100% transparent even the number of the like of the measure okay then on that what I can do is I can embed a tooltip um, that yes no so the images don't allow you to do tooltips they allow you to do bookmarks but not tooltips and so tooltips I can then embed a, a specific tooltip that I've set up into that particular well what looks like that image but it's actually an overlaid sort of card with a with an embedded measure in it okay and then I can just say okay um, bring the tooltip up um, the type is report page and then products and so you see down here I've got a products one and then I've done exactly the same thing exactly the same thing for this one and I've come in here and you'll see down here tooltips and you'll see brokers I've set this this particular page up and so what happens is that this particular page um, if I go back to actions this particular page now comes up when when you hover over that particular image okay and and the great thing about this and the way I've set this set this up I mean this is just you know you, you just got to get creative here the way I've set this up is that I have some filters here which sync um, across all my report right so I've got a number of things overlaid um, here for my my report design I've got a, a selection around my date I can also if I want to select say specific regions here okay that they automatically sync across my report so you see if I come through here you'll see now and I've created this visualization up the top this is only a certain part of America but because those particular um, settings sync across all my reports what also happens is they will then sync across my um, tooltips as well so my tooltips are now synced for those selections we made on that settings page in this particular setup okay so think about what you can do now think about the many many different ways that you can use this I mean it is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal and it just takes some some design thinking you know some some you know really really good creativity and you know your 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 mind will ex explode in terms of what's possible and now if you want inspiration definitely check out our showcase this is one place to go definitely check out our forum and check out the challenges you can also come to our knowledge base where we have a report design inspiration uh, section we also within our knowledge base have a power bi challenge um, uh, uh, showcase as well um, it's just taking uh, incidents just running a little bit slow while i'm recording this but uh, you know there's many different places you can get inspiration for this right um, you can actually jump in here and use this particular demo um, so lots of different ways to uh, see how you can bring lots of things together and that's what that's usually what it takes right it takes seeing what others have done and then you know implementing those in your own scenarios with your own twist and and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that um, this is just you know, one of those great ideas that you can use in so many different ways so I just want to expand your mind uh, and find you know, innovative ways that you can utilize this technique okay all the best uh, thanks for tuning in definitely throw the video a like if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe okay all the best talk to you very soon